Well, Timothy has resumed writing his notes in the margins at verse 17, which reads, But you, beloved, ought to remember the words that were spoken beforehand by the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ. And Timothy labels this a calling to look back. Jude's readers are urged to remember warnings from the apostles. Well, this tells us that the readers would have been familiar with the words of the apostles. So in a subtle way, that undermines many Bible critics who claim that the books of the Bible didn't become authoritative, didn't become part of the canon of Scripture, until decades or even a couple hundred years after the time of the apostles. That is, according to their teaching, that the church gradually began to accept the old writings well after they were written, and the church imbued them with authority. In fact, many claim that the apostles didn't even write these books that are attributed to them in the first place that they were written anonymously and they gradually gained authoritative standing until a certain church council in the second or third or fourth century uh, declared them to be scripture. Nonsense. But the fact that Jude, the brother of James and the half-brother of Jesus, would mention the apostles indicates that their words were immediately authoritative even as the ink dried on the parchment. Remember what Paul said in 1 Thessalonians 2.13? Here's how that reads. For this reason, we also constantly thank God that when you received the word of God, which you heard from us, you accepted it, not as the word of men, but for what it really is, the word of God which also performs its work in you who believe. Pretty bold words there, unless he is sure about his apostolic authority. Paul didn't wait for some church council to put their stamp of authority on his writings. He has God's stamp of authority. <laughs> well, I had intended to go on to verse 18 but I got bogged down in verse 17. It's pretty important though. What we've been talking about is an example of those that Jude has been speaking of in this chapter, in verse three through, three through 17. People who, according to verse four, crept in unnoticed. They may have been even part of our churches, part of our church family. They crept in, uh, crept in unnoticed and have become a threat to the faith once for all delivered to the saints. Well, we'll go on to verse 18 tomorrow. <laughs>